and we hope you're having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And I got the wife and I got all the gang here, with the exception of one, of course. And uh, I don't know, sometimes, babe, when I look at us, I think of, I don't even know why I think of it, uh, I think of Mr. Peabody and Sherman. You remember Peabody and Sherman? You would be, uh, I guess I would be uh, Mr. Peabody and you would be Sherman. Hello again, Peabody here. Sherman and I are on our way into the past as usual and today's journey should be an exciting one. What shall I set the way back for, Mr. Peabody? Date-wise, Sherman set it for July 14th, 1865. But anyways, uh, we're going to take another Sunday drive and we're going to take you with us. And where we end up, we'll let you know that next. It all starts when you guys Ow. in Seguin, Texas. And right now we are at the burial site of one Juan Seguin. The last time we came here, remember the gate was closed. It was on the other side over there. Now they all got the gate right here. right here have a lot of the people I guess from uh, like uh, councilmen and I don't know uh, relatives I would say all in there kind of musty yeah, as a matter of fact, this is where Juan Seguin is buried, right here. This is Juan Seguin. He was born October 27th, 1806, and left us August 27th, 1890. Wow. What's the deal with the 27th? Texas Patriot Statesman, for whom the city of Seguin was named. Hi, huh, babe. I said it's hot. Like a dry hot. 
That's probably because you're hot. I'm gonna do a small spirit box session right here, but this time I'm gonna use the Phasma box, and I wanna see if Mr. Seguin will come through for us. What's up here, Is Mr. Seguin here? We mean no disrespect to you, sir. We come to you out of love and light. Are you here, sir? <laughs> my name is Ed. This is my wife, Jen. And my boys with special needs and some fool driving down the street, booming. He's driving a car. You ever hear of a car, sir? I just want to know, are you at peace, sir? I'm not here to disrespect you in no way. I just want to hold a conversation with you. What if Aaron? I heard about what you did for the state of Texas. You know this city is named after you. Yeah, it's named. Yeah, it's named after the city is called Seguin. I heard that you was a true patriot. Do you, do you mind me talking to you? Do you mind me talking to you, sir? I know you don't have much to say. Is there anything I could do for you? Uh, get a, you? If you speak through this right here, it's a device I have. It's called a laptop, but you can uh, speak through this. Things running in two. Things running in two. If you speak to that, I can get a message out for you. Is there anything you is is there anything you have to say to anyone? You want to leave a message with anyone? Anything you want to say? This damn, I know these mosquitoes is eating me up. Well, sir, I'm not here to disrespect you. You died in Laredo? Do you know that you're dead? <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and let you go.
if you did come through, I really appreciate you, sir. Like I said, I'm not here to disrespect you in no way, shape, or form. But you can't follow us home or you have to pay rent. And I need my money better than a hog needs slop. Yeah. But hey, God bless you. Stay blessed, all right? I'm not too sure if he came through, but we're going to play it back and see what was said. But let's take a look at the city of Seguin also. is the Magnolia House. It is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the nation. And it just so happens to be right here in Seguin. Let's take a little tour ourselves, but unfortunately, we have to go on a different direction. Going on a different direction because I'm broke. Broke, busted, feeling disgusted. So I can't afford to go inside. Besides, as of this taping, it's Sunday and they're closed. And here's a placard right here. So if you want to read it, you might want to pause it right here. Wow, I wouldn't mind coming to this place if I had some loot. What's this? The historic 1850 Magnolia Hotel now offering overnight stays and guided ghost tours. So you have to make reservations. I think one day that's going to be on my to-do list and make a reservation here and see if uh, what we can get out of it.
well, on account that we're broken, we can't even go inside in the Sunday anyway. There's nothing to see here. And he's got a bell right there. I'm wondering, should I ring this bell? Let's ring this bell. I don't know why I always gotta touch things. at the historical Riverside Cemetery here in Seguin now. This right here is the Smith family that's buried here. And this is very old. Jen and them was sitting inside the truck because it is hot as you know what out here. So I'm going to do just a small spirit box session, just random, and see who comes through here at the cemetery. First of all, I just want you all to know that I come here out of love and light. I mean, no disrespect to you at all. I just wanted to see if maybe you had something you want to say or you want to talk about. I have a device right here with me that you can talk through. So all you have to do is to speak through that. And maybe I can get a message out to a loved one that may still be alive. So if you want to speak, to speak through this box that I have right here. Anybody here like to talk to me? You do? What's your name? If you don't mind me asking. I come to you out of love and light, and I mean no I mean no disrespect to you. I believe me, I know these bugs is crawling. What is your name? My name's Ed. Your name is? I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. We kind of talked over each other. Are you still going to be? I know you don't know me, and I'm not here to disrespect you. I just thought maybe you might have had a message or something you want to get out. Are you at peace? Are you at peace? You still at peace? Was? Was? Well, how come you're not at peace now? Is there something you'd like to say to a loved one? Can I help you with anything? Damn, I look black as night. I kind of wish I would have got this in some sunlight. What is your name? I'd like to know who I'm talking to at least. You know, 
so I can uh, respectfully acknowledge you. My name's Ed. My wife in the truck, his name is Jen. My two boys, or actually three boys in, in the truck, now they're special needs. Uh, that means handicapped. Friend. Yes, I am a friend. I want to be. Do you? You don't mind me? Do you mind me being here? You know that. For me, I am. Is there anything I can help you with? What about yesterday? Is there a guy here? Some years ago. Some years ago? Is there a guy here that can give me a name? I mean, not my name, but his name. Just to validate. That's all. Who's here with me? Is there anyone here with me? I'm going to keep it this way because at least you got more. I'm not as black. Believe me, I'm not that black. I might have to change the color in the camera. Do I look that black to y'all? I wish I was photogenic. Believe me, I got the face to break cameras. There's another. Do you have anything you'd like to say to me? A company. Well, hey, I'm going to let you go. I mean, nothing but love and light to you. Now, you can't follow me home, you know, or you have to pay rent. And I need my money. So, God bless you. I thank you, and I hope you have a peaceful journey. Well, I don't know. I don't know if anybody really came through, so I'll have to, of course, play everything back. But when I know, you will know. Hey, now I don't look as black. Now I have an app that's called Spirit Talker, and I want to see if anybody wants to come through on this. If you still want to talk to me, you know you can. I have another device that I'm using. Anybody want to talk to me? Anybody at all? It's a lovely day today. Is there anybody here that like to talk to me? The children play games. The children play games. Really? What kind of game are they playing? Can you tell me? Can I play? Let's just walk random.
Now there was kid, uh, children buried over here. So we're gonna walk over where the children are. You cool with that? Like I said before, you know I'm not here to disrespect anybody. I got Jen and the boys in the, in the truck because it is really hot out here. And I don't know why my black butt's still out here. I'm dressed in all black. I've got to be crazy. Word to self. Don't wear black. When it's 90 something degrees outside and you're doing a spirit box. Now there's some children over here. Are Ron. You... Ron? Are you talking about Ron DeSantis? I don't see no Ron. I'm looking at names. I don't see no Ron. I don't pick these flowers up. Predators. Predators? I'm not too sure what that means, but I heard somebody walking back here. Out over here. That could be an animal, though. Well, I don't see no run. Yeah. I was looking for the name Ron. I'm coming back. Exposed. Exposed. I don't know. We're going to be walked down by my wife. Lily. Lily? Still have not seen her run. Then she mentioned Lily. Now, Lily, is that your name? Is that your name, Lily? Well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and stop. Thank you to whoever did come through. I really do appreciate you. God bless you. Take care of yourself, all right? Peace. Well, we're going to run this home and see what we got. And uh, something's better than nothing, but... As far as the Spirit Talker app is concerned, I'm not really sold on that. So, But you tell me in the comments below what you think of it. Maybe I'll use it again. Maybe this just wasn't enough energy here. And I, maybe I have to go somewhere else. But just let me know in the comments below what you think.
look at this tiny home right here. And it's part of the historic Dietz Castilla dollhouse. 1910. Look at this. Every little girl would like a dollhouse like Alice O'Brien. Alice was the adopted daughter of Louis Deeks and his sister Miss Molly. Alice arrived in skiing on the orphan train just prior to 1910. She received the dollhouse on her fifth birthday. Later, Pablo Castillo, a successful Hispanic immigrant, purchased the house and then in 1967 donated it to the Seguin Conservation Society. Today, the popular tiny house holds a number of dolls and toys. Also inside are a wardrobe and a dresser made by Mr. Reeves. Come see Deeds Castillo Dollhouse. Look at this. Oh, it is a dollhouse. Wow. Check that out. It's on this side here. It is a dollhouse. And here's a placard on it. If you want to read it, you may want to pause right here. And here's another house right next to this. This one is called Lost Naggles. Here's the historic, um, historical figure on this. Well, not figure, but, well, you know what I mean. And But here's the house. Check this out. I can't go in it right now because it's closed, but we can probably peek inside the windows. Look at this. pretty cool. That's the other side. Wow. That's really cool. We may end up coming back to Seguin. Uh, there's so much to see here. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if any of you have been to Seguin before and tell me what you've uh, checked out here. But we are going to come back. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Before I go, I'm going to give a couple shout outs if I may. I want to start off by giving a huge shout out to The Bud Files. Make sure you go by, check out The Bud Files, like and subscribe, and tell them that Eddie and Jen sent you and you will love their content. I also want to give a shout out to Time to Play TV. Make sure you go by, check out Clay, like and subscribe, and tell him that Eddie and Jen sent you. And look at the food that he makes. Man, it's so good. Which follows up with Melissa Love. Make sure you go by and check out Melissa also. Like and subscribe and tell her that Eddie and Jen sent you. And if you're on Facebook and you're looking through Facebook groups, go by and give a huge shout out to ParaUnity. Subscribe to them, hit that like, let them know that you were sent there from Eddie and Jen. 
and to my son Cody's vlogs adventures. Make sure you go by, check out my son Cody, like and subscribe. Tell him that mom and dad sent you there. And just remember that he's special needs and he does a lot of story time. My final view is this. I always keep practicing the word love and I know that the word love means a lot. But it means very little if you don't practice it. We really need to keep pushing love forward. Love for your neighbor and love for your friends. And I mean your real friends. And pass that love forward. You might see someone that's down and, you know, a little bit depressed or what have you. And you could pick them up with a smile and just let them know that everything's going to be all right. And it is. But mean what you say. Show a little love and it goes a long ways. Practice it. Believe me, we need it. At this time of our lives, we don't have enough going around. Everybody's out for themselves. But what about your fellow man that really needs it? The one that's down and out. The one that may be homeless. The one that lost his job. The one that lost his wife or husband. Show them some love. And show them that everything's going to be all right. God is a loving God. And he loves you for the person you are. So keep that in mind. God don't make mistakes. He makes masterpieces. And that's what you are. A masterpiece. So keep being that masterpiece. Keep being that radiant ray of sunshine. Because you truly are. And you truly are loved. And we love you. That's for darn sure. So spread some of that around. You'd be surprised how far it goes. And at this time of our lives, we really need it. Life is short. So enjoy it while you can. Enjoy this thing called life. Enjoy these trees and the walks in the park. Don't take those for granted. Because what you see today could be gone tomorrow. Because we are not promised. One of the things that I always say is, today will soon be history. Tomorrow is still a mystery. So we need to look forward to the present. So just spread some love. What's your story? Now if this is your first time here, please make sure you go by and hit that subscribe button because we'd love to have you as part of our family and don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos and I keep this one pink as my tribute and salute to breast cancer awareness and share our videos we would like that too but the most important thing is we love you for you now can you share some of that just spread it around I really appreciate it and I appreciate you for being here so until the next time just keep being the wonderful person you are stay